Hey everyone, so I just wanted to film a quick life update. So if you haven't noticed, I haven't uploaded many videos like, you know, story time videos or I haven't uploaded many paintings on my Instagram or just anything drawing related. Um, and that's because I'm on break and I've just told myself I need to take this time to relax and do nothing. So some of you probably noticed that my channel has exploded. So at the beginning of December I was around a couple hundred subscribers and now I just reached 15,000 uh, which is absolutely insane and it completely blows my mind and I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> um, I've never actually felt myself be exposed to this many people in my life um, but it's encouraging and I'm learning to embrace it. Because of the explosion, I managed to get a ton of messages from you guys. Um, a lot of people telling me that they've been inspired by the video or motivated to get back into their craft or the thing that they really enjoy. Um, and it really makes me happy that people are taking a positive message away from their video and getting back into their passions. On top of that, because of the explosion, I managed to get my first Patreon supporter, which is absolutely amazing. And Kisa, if you're watching this, um, thanks so much for supporting. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the little sketch I did for you. Now, aside from all the online stuff, I've been just doing a bunch of relaxing. So I've been eating a lot, I've been exercising, going to the beach, um, and yeah, I, I also got a drone. Right above me, and I got it tracking me. See it there. So that's been amazing and um, I've been learning everything I can about how to control it and different kinds of shots I can use to put into future videos that might help me explain creative concepts or just add to the production value of my videos. The other big piece of news I have is that I'm going overseas. So on January 21st I'll be flying to Taiwan and I'll be spending a few weeks there with my girlfriend's family for Chinese New Year and then we'll be flying to Japan. Um, so we're going to be spending two weeks in Japan, going from Osaka to Kyoto, Nozawa Onsen, Tokyo, and just doing a bunch of fun stuff. Just yesterday I booked tickets to the Ghibli Museum, and we're also going to Disneyland, so um, I really can't wait, and it's going to be really exciting. I'll definitely be vlogging my trip, and I hope you don't mind some vlogs appearing in your subscription feed, but I'll also try to connect the vlogs or create a video related to art overseas and how like traveling can really help you broaden your horizons and give you new inspiration and new ideas for your artwork. So I think that'll be really great and I hope you guys enjoy it. But the main topic of this video is rest and work. And right now I'm in rest mode. Actually a lot of it was triggered by this. So if you follow my webcomic, you'll know that I've gone on hiatus for a while and that's because I injured my hand. It wasn't like any serious injury, it was just like over time I eventually noticed that my hand was really sore and I couldn't tell why and I went to the physio and they told me that I have tennis elbow despite not even playing tennis. But yeah, basically it's caused by repetitive strain and it's to do with the tendons that connect with your elbow and reach down through your forearm and into your wrist. And to all my perverted subscribers, yes, it's been because of typing on a keyboard and drawing and not because of anything else, alright? Yeah, so I thought that like giving it one or two weeks off would be fine and that I would just be able to heal up pretty quickly and get straight back into it. It is getting better, but it's been about two weeks and I'm still not 100% and I'm still not confident to pick up the Wacom tablet and start drawing with it um, because it's just going to get injured again. But all of this made me think about, you know, working and resting and just my own relationship with work. It's really cliche, but I definitely am a workaholic and I'm the type of person that's just always thinking about work, even if I'm not doing work. and. I would naively believe that, you know, if I'm sitting down, that means I'm at rest. So let's say if I sit in an office cubicle for eight hours a day, I'm still resting. Um, but we all know that that's not true because, you know, you're thinking and, you know, there's the stress of work and your daily tasks and things like that. So recently I've been trying to train myself just to completely let it all go and just think about nothing. The scary thing about this is I can't even remember a time when I've just let everything go. Sometimes even when I'm out in social situations I'll be thinking about work and, it, and it'll make me think I really should be back at my computer doing something or creating something which is really unhealthy and it's not a good mindset to have. 
So if you are an artist that is experiencing something like that, um, please take time to look after yourself and care for yourself. And I think mindsets like this are happening a lot more these days as well because a lot of the times you'll read online advice, like people will tell you, you've got to work really hard, like harder than anyone else. And I'm guilty of that too. So I've given out advice to other artists telling them, you really need to work hard and just keep striving to improve yourself. But I never would say something like, take time to relax and enjoy your life and live your life. And it's really important because when you're creating stuff, you're outputting things, right? Um, but where's all the input coming from? And the input comes from your life. So living your life, having experiences, um, learning things and growing. So yeah, if you're an artist that feels like you're stuck in a creative block or you don't feel motivated and you kind of beat yourself up telling yourself, I should be improving, I should be drawing, but you just don't feel it. My advice to you is don't do it. Um, just go outside, do whatever. I actually did a video on how to overcome creative block but ironically, I didn't tell you guys to do nothing. I, <laughs> I actually told you guys to do stuff. Um, so, I mean, there's two ways about it. Like, if you know that you're in a creative block, but you know you have to produce something, let's say you're under a deadline, or you know that resting isn't what you need, but you just need something else to spark something, then go watch that video and that'll definitely help you. But if you feel like you're at a place where you're absolutely exhausted and you feel like there's just nothing left, um, then that's the time to put things down, turn off your computer and just go and do something. Look after yourself, have fun, do what brings you joy and when you're ready, you'll come back. So yeah, just remember that self-care is really, really important. And on that note, I really should end the video here. I should just go lie down on the beach somewhere or just zone out completely. Um, hi to all the new subscribers and thanks for watching. Please be patient with me. I will have more drawing and creative related content out soon as long as I can get this thing healed up. Um, but in the meantime, leave your passion, be yourself and keep moving forward. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.